Okay, so when you receive your semen, um, you're going to get a, it's going to come in a cardboard box, but inside will be this foam container, and it will have some cooling packs in there, and we received three doses of semen for our guilt. So the semen is in there, it has an extender in it to extend the life of it, however, you will still need to be moving this two times a day as the little semen cells kind of go to the bottom with gravity. Um, we also got a five pack of foam AI catheters. So we're gonna use those and you'll also need some lubricant for when you insert those into your gilt. Okay, so that's basically all you need and let's get started. Hey guys, um, so today I'm gonna do a video on doing artificial insemination on a pig. We have a gilt over there, the little red girl that is in heat right now. I've been tracking her heat cycles and we've ordered semen in for her to be bred and today she's in heat, so today she's gonna get bred for the first time. Um, she is a Hereford, a registered Hereford and we are going to be breeding her to a purebred registered Berkshire. So I'm excited for that and I will show you guys the process of getting that done. This is our first time doing AI on pigs but from what I have researched and the people I've talked to, it's not rocket science. So we're gonna give it a shot. Um, I think it opens up a lot more doors for us to try some uh, different breeds and offer a few more different things in our program. So I'm gonna give it a shot and see how it goes and I will show you guys the process of doing it. Now you wanna breed them as soon as they're in standing heat and then you want to breed them probably the next day as well while they're still in heat and then if you can breed them again a third time then do that the more times that you breed them the more uh, pigs they'll have in their litter theoretically because they release eggs as they're going through the entire heat cycle so if you bred them on the first day and then you didn't breed them again afterwards um, the theory is, is that you would have a little bit of a smaller so depending on your operation, that might be something that you're looking for. So AI kind of gives you that opportunity to just do that. Um, and then if you want a larger litter, like we do, then you breed them up to three times if possible. Sometimes they're not in standing heat for long enough to be able to breed them three times. But um, two or three times and you'll have a little bit larger litter than if you had bred them just the once. Alright, well... I'm no expert at this AI thing, but from what I've gathered is that if you don't have a boar present, like we do, um, it's important to use what they call a boar spray. So that gives the female sow or guilt some pheromones to tell her that there's a boar present. But because we have a boar, we don't have to do that. Anyways, so what you do is you wait till she's in standing heat. So standing heat means that they will stand still for you when you're attempting to breed them. So she is, <coughs> excuse me, and basically all you do is you go in the pen, um, you sit on top of them, and then you stick your catheter in. You want to stick it in at a 45 degree angle. I will try to show you guys better on the next breeding. But as you can see, Hamilton, our boar, he's very, very interested in her, so she's definitely in heat. Okay, so we are AIing our joke today. This is Mindy. Can you show Mindy? So Mindy over here is a purebred Hereford, and we are going to be breeding her to a Berkshire. Um, we made that decision because there's not really good availability of Hereford semen in Canada to be able to sh uh, ship semen to you. And we don't have a Hereford boar yet because we're waiting to get a line that isn't related to her.
Obviously, you want to breed your gilts when they're in standing heat, which she is. I already bred her once today, and I'm going to breed her again now. So I'm just going to check that she's in standing heat. So if you stand on top of her, <laughs> she's not ready right now. I like the foods. What's doing it? It might be easier for me to just stand over here since I'm short. Anyways, so when you put the catheter in, you're going to point it upwards. Okay, so once you feel it kind of lock in there, then it's in her cervix. And I'm going to bust the tip off of this and insert that into the rod. Okay. So I'm going to give it a little bit of a pump just to get the semen going. You just want to be gentle. And I'm going to put some pressure on her back. And you want to take your time. This takes a few minutes. You want to kind of mimic so when a boar breeds a sour gilt, they take a little bit of time while they're breeding. It's not just instant. So you don't want to just shove the semen in there. So take your time. If you're getting a lot of semen coming out, then you should probably readjust where you put your catheter. Or you might want to do like mimic the boar being on her by rubbing her sides and putting a bit of pressure on her back. You can also pump the semen little bit stimulate a boar being here and when you run out of ability to squeeze take this off get some air in there and then start over Officially done being artificially inseminated. We got her done three times. So hopefully um, in 21 days she won't come back into heat and she will have been bred. That's the goal. Everything went really smoothly and really well. Um, the last breeding was like textbook and I wish I got that on film but I didn't get that one on film. But when you uh, watch a pig get artificially inseminated it went like exactly how you would expect it to. So yeah, but otherwise everything went really, really well. Um, and hopefully in three months, three weeks and three days, we'll have our first little Burkford babies. I'm so excited. I think that's gonna be a really nice cross. And I'm hoping she has a little guilt that I can keep back from her, from that breeding. So we'll see how everything goes, but I'm expecting good results and I'm excited to see how everything turns out. Thanks for watching guys and I appreciate you supporting our channel as usual. Take care.